find the strawberries. Nice job. One strawberry, two, three, and four. So my friends, he had one apple, two pears, three plums, and four strawberries, but he was still hungry. That's a lot of food, boys and girls. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. Let's count the oranges. One, two, three, four, five. Let's find the five oranges. Nice job, boys and girls, finding the five oranges. So my friends, he had one apple, two pears, three plums, four strawberries, and five oranges. And he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of cake one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night he had a stomach ache. Oh my gosh, my friends, he had so much food. This is all the food that he decided to eat. Let's find all the food he ate. Find the picture with the lollipop, the sausage, the watermelon, and the salami. Nice job, my friends. So he had, this is gonna be a mouthful, one apple, two pears, three plums, four uh, strawberries, five oranges. He also had one piece of cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one piece of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry cake pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one watermelon. And my friends, his tummy didn't feel so great. I wonder why he ate all that food. The next day went, was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf and after that he felt better. So my friends, he ate through the leaf and he felt better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. Look at how much bigger he is because he ate all of that food. My friends, this might be hard to tell, but this caterpillar is so big. Find the big caterpillar. Nice job, this is the big caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks, so he stayed in the cocoon for a long time. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out and, my friends, after the caterpillar ate all of his food, he wrapped himself in a cocoon. Where is the cocoon? Nice job, this is the cocoon. And he was a beautiful butterfly. So my friends, after he was in the cocoon, what did he turn into? He turned into a beautiful butterfly. Find the butterfly. Nice job, my friends. This is the butterfly. 
I just want to ask a couple questions and then we are going to be all done. Who is the story about? Is it about a caterpillar or a computer? Find the caterpillar. Nice job. This is our caterpillar. What did the caterpillar start off as? Did he start off as this little, little egg? Or did he start off as a truck? Find the leaf with the little egg. Nice job, he started off as the little egg. What was the caterpillar looking for? Was he looking for a teddy bear? Or was he looking for some food? Boys and girls, the caterpillar was looking for some food. Find the picture of the food. Nice job. He was looking for some food. And what did the caterpillar wrap himself up in? Did he wrap himself up in a cocoon? Or did he wrap himself up in an apple? Find the cocoon. Remember, the cocoon is brown. Nice job. This is our cocoon. One more question, boys and girls. What, at the end of the story, what did the caterpillar turn into? Did he turn into a beautiful butterfly or a dog? Find the butterfly. Nice job. The caterpillar turned into a beautiful butterfly.